Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this video. We'll continue learning about pandas and specifically we'll dive a bit deeper into categorical data. In this video, you'll learn how to check properties of categorical data, uh, such as if they are ordered or not ordered and what are the categories in the data set. Then we'll look at how to rename those categories or also how to add new categories to existing data set. Finally, we'll also look at how to remove unused categories and how to set categories. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. In Jupyter Notebook, I've already created the notebook and imported two libraries, NumPy and Pandas. The data set that we are going to use is going to be this series A, uh, which has the items M and O, and let's make this M. So these are the items that we have and the categories would be M, N and O. Now in let's start looking at the properties. So the very first property we are going to look at is A dot cat dot categories. And this tells us what categories are there within that series. Here we can see that it's M, N, and O. There is another property which is a.cat.ordered and when we run this, we get the value of false because we know that we haven't explicitly specified anywhere while creating the series that those properties, those categories are ordered and therefore we get a false here. So this is going to be false unless and until we explicitly specify that a particular uh, that there is a specific order to any of those categories. Next, let's create another series using a different method. And we have seen this in a previous video. So it would be a revision here. Uh, a is equal to pd.series, pd.categorical. And in here, we can specify the list that we used in the earlier command I'm going to copy that and paste it here M and O M and O and M and categories would be let's say categories are O N and M okay so when we run this and look for a here we have the same similar series that is created uh, except that the or uh, we see that the categories are placed in a different order. However, still we haven't explicitly specified an order for this particular uh, series. Therefore, when we look at order, we are going to get a return value of false. They are not ordered, it's still unordered. And if we look at the a.cat.categories, we can see the categories that are listed for that particular series, which is L O N and M. Now, if we take the same exact series back down here and explicitly specify the order, then we would get true when we type a dot cat dot order. So if we specify ordered is equal to true. And now if we run for a, we can see that now there is order specified down below in this line where O is less than N is less than M. And if we now look for a.cat.ordered, we can see that uh, this has returned true because we have explicitly specified the order. Moving on, uh, let's look at uh, using the instance method to create the series and see if the same properties hold true. So we'll create the series pd.series and here, uh, why don't we go ahead and copy this list so that we don't have to type again, uh, m and, and then dot as type and here we are going to say categorical d type and before that, uh, before I complete that command, let's go ahead and type the import command for this pandas.api.types import categorical d categorical data type and now let's complete this command 
where we are going to specify the list and here the categories uh, that we are going to specify is going to have one extra category p which does not exist in this particular uh, set here so i'm going to add another parenthesis there and remove this one now when we run this we can see that a new series is created it has four categories mnop uh, the series itself however does not have all those four so p is an extra category now if you look at a dot cat dot categories we can see that we get back all the four categories that are associated with the series a and if you look again at a dot cat dot ordered uh, we can see that it returns a false value because we haven't explicitly specified the that they are ordered now we can change that so we can specify ordered is equal to true and that is within the parenthesis for categorical data type and now when we run this uh, we get the same series but here the series has the categories which are ordered so m is less than n is less than o is less than p and as you would expect when we run the a dot cat dot ordered for this particular series we get a return value of true which tells us that the categories in this particular series are now ordered next let's look at how we can rename uh, existing categories so uh, for renaming the command is similar so we type a dot cat dot categories and is equal to now we can specify the categories that we want so why don't we use list comprehension to create a new set of categories here so the syntax would be similar for i in a dot cat dot categories so we are looking at each category and then the value that we get we let's create a category which says city and then percent s so that's for string and then outside the quotes we have percent i so uh, we are picking each of these values so for example m and it will be put here so we'll get city m instead of m as a new category now when we run this and print a we can see that these are new set of categories city m city n city o and city m again so uh, the total categories are four which includes the city p and they are still ordered because in the previous command we had set an order for all those four categories so this is how you would go about renaming a category now let's look at another method uh, here we are going to use a standard list a is equal to a dot cat dot rename underscore categories so we are specifically using the command rename underscore categories and within the parenthesis we are going to specify a list what the new name should be let's say uh, it's game one game one and then we have game two game three game four so these are the new categories that we have for the series and uh, we get those new categories so we have replaced the city m city n with game one and game two so uh, this was another way and there is yet more one more way in which we can rename the categories that and that is using dictionaries so let's try that a is equal to a dot cat dot rename underscore categories and here we are going to specify key value pairs so the key value pairs would be uh, keys would be the existing categories that are already there so i'm going to copy paste those here and the new categories could be uh, let's say x uh, y then we have z or z and the last one is q and when we run this we get a new set of names for the categories which, which are x y z and q so those were the three methods uh, which can be used to rename categories 
moving on let's see how we can add a new category to the existing data set so add new category and to do that uh, we'll going we are going to add a new category to uh, the same uh, series a so a is equal to a dot cat dot add categories and here within parentheses and square bracket we are going to specify the category let's say 999 and when we run this here we can see that the new category was added in the existing set uh, as we can see here in the last line now let's look at how we can remove categories so remove category and there are a couple of ways we can two ways uh, we'll talk about how to do that one is uh, say, let's say we have this series a and within this series we want to remove the category 999 the way we would type is a is equal to a dot cat dot remove underscore categories and within the list form we type 999 and now we type a so here we have removed the category 999 from that particular uh, series moreover we can also remove unused categories so here the category q is not used so to do that we will type a is equal to a dot cat dot remove underscore unused underscore categories and open close parenthesis and type a so now we have uh, removed the unused category p uh, sorry q and we just have the categories x y and z which already are in the series a so those are the two methods to remove unused categories finally we'll look at how we can set categories so set categories to do that the command has similar structure we would type a is equal to a dot cat dot set underscore categories and here we are going to space uh, let's say we specify x y and z as the categories that already exist in a so this is how we get we can set the categories in a particular series that was it for this video hope you learned how to work with categories in this lesson and uh, also see how we can add remove uh, categories and how to check if the categories are ordered or not in the next video we'll continue learning more about how to handle categorical variables with pandas uh, i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe it helps me stay motivated to create more content for you all. Thank you.